in this video, I'm going to be unboxing some packages. We're going to pick some giveaway winners and we're going to rank Shimano reels from best to worst. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Let me start this one out by saying I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're all doing well. And thank you for 19,000 subscribers here on YouTube. That's right, we just cracked 19,000 here on the channel and you know what that means. That's right. It's time to color in some more bars on the subscriber board. We recently hit 16,000. You guys saw that. And then we ripped from 16,000 to 19,000, largely in part to all the MFers out there. Recently dropped a video with Ben Milliken over on the Milliken Fishing Channel, and that really helped give us a boost. So shout outs to all the MFers from 16,000 to 19,000 plus over here on the Justin Royal YouTube channel. And I'm stoked to color in these bars. Once again, thank you. That's right. 19,000 subscribers, 1,000 away, actually a little less than that now. We're around 700 subscribers away from hitting 20,000 right now. So if you haven't already, if this is your first time watching, consider subscribing, help us color in the bar. I put out new fishing videos all the time over here and I would love to have you riding along with us. Can we hit 20,000 by the end of 2020? I think that would be awesome. That's the goal I'm setting. Let's see if we can pull it off. Now in this video, I'm going to be rating Shimano reels from best to worst, but not all the Shimano reels, just the Shimano reels that I personally own. And we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. But first, we have some giveaway winners to select. That's right. We got to pick the winner of the crankbait giveaway. And we're also going to pick the winner of the super power pack giveaway. If you guys don't know what that is, I was doing a big giveaway for the launch of my website and merchandise over on theheaterzone.com. Anyone who purchased a piece of J Royal merchandise was automatically entered into that giveaway. And we're gonna select the winner right now. I'll show you guys what's going out to whoever wins this. One lucky supporter of the Heater Zone and the merch launch is gonna get a brand new pair of Waterland shades. These are the high bro frames, the silver lenses. Gonna get a big Matt Lures hammer tail shad swim bait. And they're also gonna get this bait bag stuffed full of six cents heaters. A bunch of different baits from the six. Soft baits, hard baits, jigs, crank baits, bait bags. There's a Vega Frog in there. There's some Crush 50s, Movement ADX. A bunch of good stuff in this pack right here. It was just a way for me to say thank you and give back to somebody who chose to support the merchandise. If you guys are looking to score a piece of merch, check out theheaterzone.com. And don't worry if we don't have your size of whatever piece of clothing you want because I have a restock coming soon. So stay ready for that. But right now, let's go ahead and pick the winners of these giveaways. We're gonna select two winners in this video and this is how we're gonna do it. For the crankbaits, I told everybody to go through and all they had to do to enter the giveaway was subscribe to the channel, click the thumbs up on the video and then go down below and leave me a compelling, creative or funny comment. I've gone through and I've selected 24 different comments that stood out to me and I've typed those names down onto a spreadsheet right here on my laptop and we're gonna use a random number generator and we're gonna pick the winner right here on camera right now. Thank you to everybody who engaged on the video and left me a comment. I had a lot of fun reading all of those. I'm not gonna read all the comments that got picked here on camera right now just because I don't want this video to get too long but I have gone through and selected the 24 comments that I felt stood out to me and I've entered those names into a spreadsheet. We're gonna do the one through 24 random number generator right now and we're gonna see who won. As you can see, here's a list of all the names from comments that I picked out, one through 24. Shout outs to all these awesome people right here that took the time to drop me a line on that crankbait giveaway video. All right, so I got the random number generator pulled up here on my phone. We're gonna go one through 24, and then we're just gonna hit generate right here, and we're gonna see what pops off. You guys ready? Here we go. Boom, what number? Number five, Boone Stewart. Shout outs to Boone Stewart, you are the winner of the crankbaits. Hit me up with that shipping information. I'll get these crankbaits sent out to you ASAP. Shout outs to Boone Stewart and everybody else that left me a comment. Also, shout outs to Nathaniel for donating these crankbaits so that I could give away to one of you guys. That was really awesome. So there we go. Boone Stewart, congratulations on the win. Shout outs to everybody else who entered. Much love. Don't worry, I will be doing more bait giveaways in the future here on this channel. So if you didn't win, it's all good. Just stay ready. We'll do this again. But now for the big one. This list right here is pretty big, as you can see. So the way I've done this one is a little bit different. This is everybody's name in alphabetical order over here in column B. I've taken those names, inserted them into column A, and I've randomized the list. Shout outs to all these awesome people for supporting the heater zone. There was a lot of you. I appreciate your support. It means the world to me. All right, we're gonna do it the same way. Random number generator, number one through, what do we got? 127 different people. Shout outs to all 127 of you 
for supporting the heater zone and helping the merch launch be a success. There we go, one through 127. Are you guys ready to see the winner of the Super Power Pack giveaway? Once again, thank you so much to everybody who ordered a piece of merchandise. Good luck to you all. Let's find out who won this thing. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Boom. What number is that? Number 90. Let's see who's number 90. All right, number 90. Who's it gonna be? Patrick Quick. Patrick Quick, shout outs to Patrick. You are the winner of the Super Power Pack giveaway. Thank you, Patrick, for ordering a piece of merch. Hit me up with that shipping info and I'll get your swim bait, your water lands, and your Super Power Pack chock full of six sense heaters sent out to you ASAP. Like I said, if you didn't win, don't worry. I will be doing more giveaways here in the future. I have a restock of the merchandise coming soon and I'm gonna put together another Super Power Pack just to show my appreciation and give away some more baits. I'm gonna give everyone who orders merch in the month of December another shot at some awesome baits so stay tuned for that but once again Boone Stewart you won the crankbaits and Patrick Quick you won the super power pack from supporting the heaterzone.com congratulations to you both but let's move on into the rest of this video got some packages to unbox here but really quick before I do that I want to mention that Six Sense Fishing has their annual holiday bundles available now you can knock out that holiday shopping by picking up some of the best baits in the game at a discounted price they have two different bundle levels the first bundle $49.99 it's a $77 value it's gonna come with all sorts of awesome baits and then they have a second bundle bundle $99.99 it's a $142 value and it is absolutely chock full of holiday heaters so check out sixcentsfishing.com go scope out those holiday bundles and knock out that holiday shopping for the angler in your family and hook them up with some holiday heaters but let's get up into this unboxing I've got a couple fishing related packages right here I'm gonna crack into them on camera with you guys and let's see what we got to add to the boat nothing too crazy but these items are fishing related so I wanted to crack into them with you guys show you what I got I know how you guys like the unboxing content so tear into these things check them out this first thing something I didn't have something I needed though these right here are split ring pliers and I dropped the keychain thing split ring pliers check them out wolf yawk split ring pliers got these off of Amazon I'll throw a link down below the video if you guys want to check them out. Seem pretty nice. That little guy right there is why I got them. I've been changing split rings out just using a regular pair of needle nose pliers. So I wanted to get me a pair that were dedicated for changing out split rings. So I decided to grab these, see how they work. I'll let you guys know. They feel all right. It looks sturdy enough. I think that'll work. Just a little fishing related item to add to the toolbox out there on the boat. Next up. I'm stoked on this one, man. This one right here, pretty excited about. Let's crack into it, take a look. Now I already have one of these. You guys have saw me doing unboxing for this thing before, but this one right here is a little bit different. It's another Plano Edge, but this one is for terminal tackle. That's right, this is the Terminal Edge box from Plano. Check it out. Pretty sweet, dude. It has all these little individual compartments, water wick. Nice. I have the jig box and I really like it. Hold all my jigs, all my swim jigs, all my bladed jigs. You guys may have seen me do the unboxing for the Plano Edge jig box. And I've been wanting this terminal tackle box for a while. I've got my terminal tackle just stored in a regular non-waterproof Plano box. And I noticed a little bit of water starting to get in there. And I'm not trying to have my hooks or anything rust up on me. So I decided to spring for the Plano Edge. I'll also throw a link to this down below in the description if you guys think it might be something for you. This is the 3700 size terminal Plano Edge. And I actually have my terminal tackle back here on the table couple different boxes here and I'm gonna move it over into the Plano Edge right now and we'll take a look at how this thing stores all this stuff that I have now I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't have too much terminal tackle my terminal tackle collection is not too extensive in fact it's pretty pitiful you guys know me I love throwing reaction baits moving baits swim baits crank baits swim jigs stuff like that although I do throw Texas rigs and stuff that requires terminal tackle quite a bit I just don't have as much as some people 
here's my main box right here. And then I have this secondary box along with this six cents bag full of some other stuff like swim bait heads, jig heads and stuff like that. I'm gonna see how much I can get into this Plano Edge and then we'll take a look at what it looks like stocked up and locked up and I'll just show you guys how I uh, put everything in this thing. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me move little hooks and weights around and put them all into compartments. We'll just skip ahead and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's full, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and we'll check it out. All right, I got the Plano Edge pretty well loaded down. Pretty full, still got a little bit of room and uh, this is subject to change, of course. I kinda just started going at it and putting everything in here uh, the best way I can right now, but it's looking pretty good. Let me show you guys. All right, so here's how I have everything set up right now. I got some flipping hooks up here, shaky heads, swing jig heads, bobber stoppers drop shot weights, swivels, wacky rig hooks, beads, Ned rigs, and small swim bait heads, three yacht hooks. These are 3 16 ounce bullet weights. These are oddball round bend hooks, non-EWG style hooks, couple swim bait hooks, 1 8 ounce bullet weights, quarter ounce bullet weights, four aught EWGs, which is the hooks that I use the most. These are the super line or stout four aught hooks for throwing on braided line or heavier setups. These are five aught stout hooks from Six Sense Fishing. And then I got all my tungsten back here in these neat little tungsten bullet weight holders. Got the little rubber trays in there. Snap down, keep your tungsten in place. That's pretty cool. That's how I've got that thing loaded up for now, and that's much more consolidated than it was. So, so far, I think I'm stoked on it, man. We'll see how it goes. Have to get some time in with it out there on the water, see how practical everything is. But so far, so good. Um, has all these little adjustable trays. Every one of these trays is removable. Comes out just like that and snaps back in there. Of course, you got your water wick right here to keep everything dry. There's one last look at that Plano Edge. Got it loaded up. Everything seems to be holding in place. So we'll see how this does for us out there on the water. It's pretty heavy. That's a lot of stuff. Cool. Terminal tackle consolidated from two planos into one. I'll be sure and let you guys know how this works out for me out there on the boat. All right, now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get on to the part of the video that I know you guys are here for. The title of the video, the reason you clicked on it, I'm gonna be rating Shimano reels from best to worst. But let me explain a little bit here. I'm only gonna be rating the Shimano reels that I personally own. I'm not gonna be doing any Shimano reels that I don't own. The reason for that is these are the reels that I feel confident in giving you my opinion on. If I don't own the reel, I haven't spent a lot of time with it. These are the reels that I've spent hours and hours on the water with. I put in a lot of time using these reels and these are the ones that I feel comfortable and confident confident in giving you my ratings and opinions on these specific Shimanos. I personally own six different varieties of Shimano reels and I own multiples of each, some of them in several different gear ratios. And like I said, I've spent a lot of time using these reels. So I feel okay about ranking them best to worst, worst to best. We're going to go from six to one, bottom of the list, all the way to the top. And let me just say that this is just my opinion. Some of us are going to disagree. I'm sure my number one is going to be different from your number one. And I'm sure that your list would be different than mine. Mind. This is just my opinion and I'm basing my opinion on several different factors. I'm not only going to be factoring in performance, I'm also going to factor in price, I'm going to factor in personal preference, I'm going to factor in the techniques that I use them for, and I'm even going to factor in how much I use each one of these reels and how much I don't use them. So all of those things are going to play a role in how I rate these things, how I select them. This is just a fun opinion based video. Every one of these Shimano reels that I own is awesome. I love them all. They're all great and it was tough to put them in order. While I was making the list, I switched it around a couple different times and moved stuff from the top to the bottom and shuffled it around because I was having a hard time locking it in. But I think I've done it. And based on everything that I just mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys my list right now from worst to best. Let's get into it. At number six, the Shimano Tranks 200. That's right, guys. The Tranks is gonna come in at number six. I'm giving this one the bottom spot strictly because I don't use it as often as I use my other reels. It's a super smooth reel. It's just a little bit more specialized than some of these other ones, and it's geared towards heavier equipment, and it's kind of in that weird little zone where if you're throwing really heavy stuff, the 300 is probably gonna be better suited, and then the 200 is just sort of a beefed up version of some of the other reels I'm gonna show you. It's not any worse or any better. Let me just say that. I just happen to pick it up a little bit less. It's one of my dedicated swim bait setup reels. I haven't used it near as much as I've used some of the other ones. And also the color factors in a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of the silver, although it is a sweet looking reel, it's super smooth. The performance is incredible. When I do pick up this reel and fish with it, I love it. I do not have any issues. I just don't use it quite as much as the other reels that you're gonna see on this list. I don't have as much time under my belt with this reel. I haven't put it through as much 
of a ringer as I have some of these others that you're gonna see. So for those reasons and those reasons alone, this one has to come in at number six. It was tough to do. That right there is why I put the Shimano Tranks at number six, nothing against this reel absolutely love it it's an awesome reel i had a bunch of you guys recommend that i get this once i started getting into swim baiting and i will admit that i've loved fishing with it it is really really smooth if I, if I could pick one word to describe this reel it is smooth but i just don't fish with it as much as some of these other workhorse reels that i'm going to show you so i had to throw it at number six as much as it hurts me to do so man number six the shimano tranks 200 like I said, I'm sure some of you guys will disagree with the list and that's okay. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys down there in the comment section. You guys let me know what you think about the list as we go through it. But number six, Shimano Tranks 200, still an awesome reel. Next up on the list, this one is probably the most controversial selection of the entire list. This one was tough to put at spot number five. This one stings a little bit. I'm gonna explain to you guys here in just a second why I put this reel, where I put it on the list, and it's not because it's not a good reel. In fact, it's a great reel. This is the reel that made me fall in love with Shimano Baitcasters. This is the first one that I ever owned, the one that kicked it all off here on the channel, and it kind of burns to put this one in at spot number five so low down on the list, but I gotta do it if I'm being 100% honest the way things sit in my mind right now using these reels currently, number five is gonna have to be the Shimano Corrado DC. Now hold up, before you rip into me too hard, let me explain. The Corrado DC, $250, amazing reel. I own multiples of this reel. I own them in six, seven, and eight gear ratio platforms, and I love the Corrado DC. I'm not bashing it, I'm not knocking it, but it comes in at number five on the list for the following reasons. The price, being one, $250 reel. If you compare that to some of the other reels that you're gonna see on the list, it's kind of pricey. It has the IDC4 braking system, not the IDC5, and it's at a little bit of a higher price point, a little bit less accessible across the board for some of the anglers out there. $250 is a lot to pay for a reel. Second, a couple of them that I own have gotten a little noisy. I've had them for a couple years now, and they probably need to be serviced, and there's nothing wrong with them. They cast and function flawlessly. There's just a little bit of sound coming out of there and for a reel that costs this much that I've had for just as long as some of my other reels for them to be making the noise that they're making that combined with the higher price point and the IDC4 are the reasons why I chose to put this at number five on the list it was tough to do that I love this reel still fish with it every day I will continue to fish with it nothing wrong with it awesome reel the DC technology in here is great. It casts a little bit further than some of the other DC reels that you're gonna see here on the list, and it's a little bit smoother. But for the reasons mentioned, high price point, a little bit of noise that mine are starting to make, and the IDC4, I'm afraid that the Corrado DC comes in at number five on the list. That's what it is. You guys don't rip into me too hard. That's my honest opinion right now. It was tough to lock this in at number five, but I had to do it. Number five, the Shimano Corrado DC. Fifth best, that's tough, that's rough, man. All right, number four on the list. Number four on the list is an extremely popular reel, a little bit more accessible for more anglers out there. It edges out the Corrado DC, but just barely the SLX DC. Now, why do I put this ahead of the Corrado on the list? A little bit more accessible when it comes to the price, $189. Same IDC4 braking system. Awesome colors. I love the blue and black. Some people don't, but I dig it. It's not quite as smooth as the Corrado DC, but I'll be honest with you guys, I fish with these a lot and I don't really notice. It casts almost just as far. I mean, just barely, you lose a little bit of distance. The difference is negligible. But for those reasons, I gotta give the slight edge to the SLX DC. Not saying it's a better reel, but saying on my list of the best to worst, factoring in everything that I've been talking about so far, price, accessibility, looks, castability, smoothness, all those things, the SLX DC is just an amazing reel. And that's why it comes in at number four, barely edging out the Corrado DC. If the Corrado DC was at the $200 price point, I definitely would have had it in a place above the SLX DC. But with this one coming in at $189, I just had to give it spot number four. So from worst to best, so far, Tranks 200, Corrado DC, SLX DC. This is an awesome reel. I love fishing with this reel. I throw it all the time. And just like the Corrado DC, I own this reel in multiple speeds, fish with it all the time, practically every day, Faduda, and it's an awesome reel. It takes spot number four, just barely though. SLX DC, 
excellent option. All right, now we're gonna start getting into some of the newer stuff. Reel number three on the list, the third spot. Some of you guys probably already know which one I'm gonna say. I recently did a video on this reel. You could tell by my excitement out there on the water just how much I enjoyed using this reel. And although I haven't had as much time with it as I have the SLX DC or the Corrado DC, I had to put it at spot number three because what I have experienced so far has been nothing short of amazing. And that reel is the Corrado 70 MGL. You guys know how much I love throwing a weightless fluke. It's one of my favorite styles of fishing. And this reel right here performs incredibly at the lighter finesse techniques. It is so comfortable. If you guys haven't seen my first impressions and in-depth on the water video with the Corrado 70 MGL, go check it out. Had a lot of fun fishing with this thing for the first time. One of my favorite things about it is the small profile, how comfortable it is and how well it fits into the hand. And like I said, I just love throwing a weightless fluke. This thing sails. It's so smooth. The first fish I ever caught on this reel was an easy four and man, did it perform flawlessly. No DC technology in here, but it has micro module gears. It's a 70 spool size, which I really like, and it just works great for throwing these lighter baits. Also, I love the button on here. I love the shorter reel handle. I like the chrome caps on the reel. It looks great. I love it that it has the sleek side plate, just like the other Corrado reels. And I had so much fun throwing this. That's one of the major reasons this one comes in at number three is the fun factor. Man, it takes a lot of the struggle out of throwing the fluke. And I just had a blast using this. When I was setting up the list, the Corrado 70 MGL had to come in at number three. This is the 7.4 to one gear ratio. And I have some other techniques that I plan on using this for soon. You guys are gonna see me out there putting this to the test with maybe some jerk baits and some other stuff. So stay ready for that. But man, I love this reel. So awesome. Got to give number three to the Corrado 70 MGL. And then there were two. We're down to the last two. If you guys think you know what my number two and number one reels are going to be, go down in the comments right now. Drop me a comment. See if you can guess. A lot of you know what these last two reels are. And I want to see if you can guess what order I put them in. Go down below into the comments right now and leave your guesses. Don't cheat. You can cheat. It's whatever. But you know the deal. See if you can put these in order, if you know what these last two are. See if you even know what the last two are. Some of you guys who are new to the channel might not know what the last two reels are, and that's okay, So I'm gonna tell you what the number two reel is right now. Edging out the other DCs on the list is the Scorpion DC. IDC5 braking system, 100 size spool. Incredible performance. So much fun fishing with this thing. This is the HG version, and I've been having a blast out there using this reel so far. There are a couple things that I don't really like about it, one being the red spool tension knob, but the performance overshadowed the red knob, and I had so much fun fishing with it. The IDC5 braking system compared to the IDC4 that is in the SLX DC and the Corrado DC edges them out. There's a noticeable difference in performance. I really love the options you get with this reel. You get the auto setting plus one through four, as well as the internal line setting, which I think is awesome. Also, really nice button on there. Again, with the uh, nice dark chrome end caps there. It's just an awesome reel, man. I could not put the SLX or the Corrado DC above this one, even though I don't have near as much time under my belt with this reel. This one had to take spot number two on the list from worst to best of the Shimano reels that I own. The Scorpion DC is coming in toward the top of the list at spot number two, and you know what that means. If you've been watching my channel and you've been watching all the new reels that have been coming in and all the Shimano's that we've been using lately, then you already know what the number one reel is on my list. Price point, durability, smoothness, castability, and application across so many different techniques. You can do so much with this reel. And that reel is the Shimano Corrado K200. You can do so much with this reel. This reel is a workhorse. Not only is it incredibly smooth, not only is it incredibly smooth, incredibly user-friendly, but you can do so much with it. As you can see, I have it rigged up here with a bull shad. You can throw swim baits on this. You can throw jigs on this. You can throw crank baits on this. You can Texas rig with it. You can frog with it. Practically everything that you need to do out there on the water. If you're looking for a reel to cover as many bases as possible, it is tough to beat the Corrado 200. When I pick this thing up, I do not miss the DC technology and my DC reels at all. I love the capacity with the 200 size reel and it's just an incredible reel man for 189 bucks 
I think it's tough to beat across all categories. I also own this reel in multiple speeds, multiple gear ratios. But what more can I say other than this thing is just a beast. The Corrado K is proven, trusted by so many anglers. It's so super buttery smooth and I have not had a single issue out of this reel. I have a blast fishing with it. And like I said, when I pick this thing up, I do not miss the DC Tech at all. This also has the micro module gears. This is a 6.2 to one gear ratio, but I also have them in the sevens and I love them. And for all of those reasons and more that I'm probably forgetting, that is why the Shimano Corrado K200 takes to the number one spot here on my list of Shimano reels ranked worst to best. Once again, those are just the Shimano reels that I own and I'm sure our opinion differs slightly, at least in certain areas. And I would like to reiterate that I love every single reel that you just saw. I could shuffle that list around and probably make it just as convincing. But when I really sat down here and thought about it, I was typing that list out on my phone. That was where I landed. And those are the reasons that I ranked them as I did. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know how you would have ranked those reels six to one down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. It was tough. It was not easy to do that. It was not easy to put one at the bottom or at the top, but I think uh, I feel pretty good about that list right now, subject to change, but as it sits, as I feel on the reels right now, that's my list. Worst to best, six to one, barely worse. You know, just slightly. They just, they're, one just slightly edged out the one before it, man. They're all great reels, and I would recommend every single one of those that I just showed you. If you guys are interested in learning more about the reels or perhaps scooping one up for yourself, I'll put some links down below in the description so you can go online and check them out. Take a look at all the specs for yourself. Go over the details on those reels that I didn't cover. Figure out which one might be best suited for you. But it's tough to beat that Corrado K. That's a workhorse. It can cover a lot of bases with that reel, and that Scorpion DC is amazing also. The 70 MGL, loving every minute of it. Such an awesome reel. That rounds out the list, and this video is probably getting pretty long, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I wanna let you guys know that I have a restock coming on the heater zone, so if you guys are looking for a piece of merch and maybe your size is sold out, don't worry. I have some more shirts and hoodies coming back to the website really soon. The link to the store will be down below in the video description if you wanna check that out as well. Don't forget to check out sixcentsfishing.com and score the angler in your family one of those holiday bundles, knock out your holiday shopping, and hook them up with some of the best baits in the game. As always, there are multiple links down there below in the description, multiple ways to support the channel. Thank you guys so much for helping me hit 19,000. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one.